what's up welcome back to my opinion where i give my opinion and you leave yours below in the comments i'm gonna take a shot so we can get started with this review of bad blood part one with christina and rocky so cheers if you're watching welcome so let's get into it so i'm really late i've had a really busy week with work and so i'm finally getting a moment to sit down and record this video what's today what did i use friday it's friday so there's gonna be a new episode coming out on sunday um and by the time you guys see this that will probably be tomorrow i initially said i was on christina's side which i still kind of i don't know i don't know let me just let me just get into it so they're coming in we meet christina we meet rocket we've already seen it on the sneak peeks um so i'll skip over that part but i just want to take back what i said in the last video mm, mm, mm. this is windmilling rocky knocked her out Like, I, I said, I'm Christina is windmilling, Rocky is one, two, you know, wait, 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 I missed it, it was too quick. Windmill, one, one, two. I ain't picking no sides, I'm just saying. <sighs> so then we get to, after the intros of both girls, um, they're now in town. It's the day of filming and so the producer, my hair, goes into Rocky's hotel room just to kind of discuss what's going on, how she's feeling. I'm feeling a little nervous. Yeah. You know, you nervous could trust these bitches. You never know what they about to do. So. Oh, not this, this quick? Then we get to Christina. She's getting ready. I just want to tell you that you, you know. Okay. I'm gonna speak. Let me sit back. <laughs> Let me sit back. I'm going to speak on not from the point of view of the production because I get both sides. I'm just going to speak on me being blind to production and anything that goes into that. Just from like a dumb viewer's point of view. This conversation between Mikey and Christina is like, okay. Like, that's how I felt watching it. It was almost given like, you ever have that one friend that's calling you, you just on the phone not paying attention like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, girl, yeah. No, he didn't. What? It's, it was given that to me. No shade, no shade, to either one of them. And then he did ask her what got you guys to this point, which was a great question. I've been wanting to know what is the bad blood? What's the beef? We find out. You're giving me the impression that you're not ready for this fight and that this is just a game to you. So Christina's basically saying like they had a boxing match and we find out that this is part of the root issue. They had a boxing match. Rocky called Christina before the boxing match to be like, girl, it's not that serious. Like we finna just one, two real quick for this um, appearance, make a little coin, cute little boxing match and that's it. So I guess Christina believes that this is gonna be like, you know something, a little light light. And then Rocky ends up going in and knocking her ass out. I definitely get it, but also I feel like if you're going into the ring with anybody from reality TV, from the Bad Girls Club, you know, any that kind of energy, it's like, girl, even if it isn't B12, like you still need to be prepared. Like, I don't know why you trust in anybody from that arena. Rocky was giving it to her. But I understand why Christina would be mad about that because it's like, you supposed to be my bitch and you embarrass me. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. Basically, you know? I'm sorry if y'all hear my computer's fan is going crazy because I'm trying to screen record and um, watch. It's a lot going on. Anyway, I apologize for the noise. Oh, you want to talk to me? I know. I don't. <laughs> oh, my. You were. You were. Why? Why? So, we are now 24 minutes into a 34-minute video. And they're finally sitting down. No shade. No shade. Don't come after me. Okay, light shade, light shade, light shade. Shade it, bitch! But yeah, so we're 24 minutes in, they're finally sitting down. So far, I am identifying with Rocky. Like, I get it. However, I am getting a slight little bit of like, she might be a little sneaky. 
um, a little untrustworthy. You know, Rocky sitting down like it's uh, she's. It seems like she's here to have a conversation, and she's open to it being squashed. And I think Christina so far is open to it being squashed as well, but you can 100% tell that Christina is the one that has the issue and is trying to figure out what's going on and Rocky's just kind of like, I mean, girl, it is what it is. Basically what happens is, I can't really play too much of the clip, I'm just, you know, trying to provide context. But basically, Rocky is saying that there was a project that Rocky, Christina, and I guess some others were working on. Christina went ahead and left Rocky out to proceed with whatever the project was. Now, I haven't heard anything further back of an issue than this project. So I'm gonna use this project as the starting point to the bad blood. Now, seems like at this point in the beginning, Christina is wrong. And it feels like, Christina, you now have planted a seed in Rocky that she doesn't trust you. She might be cool with you, but she doesn't trust you. Which is, I feel like, now showing up later down the line into the boxing match and, you know, whatever else they have going on. This is just what I'm getting so far. Basically, they were cool. They both liked each other. Christina left Rocky out of the project and proceeded anyway without checking in with her and then rocky was kind of left to the wayside and now was looking at christina funny because it's like well bitch you're supposed to be my bitch and you left me to basically only care about yourself i was on christina's side in the beginning when the first sneak peek came out but now we are into the part one of the episode and i'm so far kind of on rocky's side but i do feel like rock well i mean I feel like Rocky's being a little bit sneaky, but also I feel like I understand it because Christina was sneaky by continuing on with the project and it seems like she did not have a conversation with Rocky about it, so why should Rocky now not be sneaky? Maybe I'm missing something, so let me know in the comments down below if I'm missing something, but that's just what I'm gathering so far. But like you got used and now you got dropped. I feel like she was fake for running off with the network that left us behind. And now you cry and wolf because what? You didn't get what she wanted? What about okay. us? We had a kid to take care of. You wasn't giving a f about me. Okay, what, see. Oh my gosh, that is so much. Okay, so for me, this is not looking good on Christina's part. I don't feel like this situation is important enough to bring my dead mother into it and put anything on my dead mother. I don't know, that's just me. I feel like if I'm gonna put something on my dead mother, like it's gotta be serious. And um, you know, maybe this is really serious to her. <laughs> Sorry, my camera overheated and I had to put it in the freezer real quick so it could cool down. And you said, I can't look you at your eyes. Why can't you look at me in my eyes, Rocky? Why can't you look me in my eyes? Because because I don't, don't want to hurt you. Why? Christina, you don't want to hurt me. Why? Because I don't want to hurt you. Why? Because I don't want to hurt you. Why? Christina, Christina, I don't know. She just seems angry. And I, her feelings are valid. I mean, that's fine, that's her feelings, but like, I don't know, child. Damn. And she can't deny it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Christina. I feel like so far, you're more mad at the fact that you may be now embarrassed that you got knocked out. Rocky has this narrative that, well, I trained for this and I went hard. It's not my fault. You didn't go hard. Would you be this angry if you didn't get knocked out or if you knocked her out? Why did you say that? Because I would have been delivered that same push you in the face. Because you are angry. You are really angry. Was I not transparent? You were transparent, but also, Ben, you didn't train. <laughs> her story is, well, I was prepared, bitch. I was prepared. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> Rocky is funny. Rocky is kind of funny. I just know my power and I still don't want to 
Ooh, y'all are shady. Y'all are shady production. Look at the bald head man's mouth. You know when you get ready to laugh, you be like, you make that face? Why did y'all put that shot in there? I don't want to fight you. Yeah. And I told I told the, the man. Well, why didn't you want to fight me? Now see, this is where I cannot be 100% on Rocky's side. But Shingo Key actually has partnership and ownership of the bad girl boxing. Just so you guys know, she chose me to fight, but she's telling you guys that she's scared to fight you. Christina has facts and receipts, apparently, about, you know, basically her issue on her side and it pokes holes in Rocky's story. Maybe Christina is just not able to get out, you know, her reasoning for being so mad because she's just so mad. Because it seems like she's got receipts and it seems like she's got facts on Rocky about what's going on. This is where it gets crazy for me. The receipts. You cannot deny a receipt now. And this is what I heard from high executives. Listen to this. Like at the end of the day, like I don't want to see these receipts. I don't want to see what the receipts are given. Now, the receipts can either give or not give. Now, baby girl Rocky is crying, so I'm assuming that the receipts is gonna give. But on part one, so far, if these receipts are not backing up why you're so angry, if these receipts are not backing up why you're calling this sit down, it's looking like you're just kind of mad that you got knocked out. I'm kind of on Rocky's side at this point. I'm just waiting to see what Christina's receipts have to bring to the table. And that's just pretty much that on that. I don't know. But yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Please let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Catch you guys later. Peace.